All right, Lindsay, thank you. 618 this morning. We've committed a lot of time here on KSHB 41, especially during our morning broadcast, to talk about inflation over the last few months. We've talked to consumers, store owners, but what about local farmers? KSHB 41's Caroline Hogan joins us live inside our building, not at a farm. Caroline, you talked to a corn farmer. You have some of his <laughs> product there with you. That's why you're in the kitchen this morning. Talk about how his, his life has changed specifically because of inflation. Right, well, Taylor, unlike other popcorn that you might see on the grocery store shelf, Princeton popcorn is direct to consumer. So one big thing that the farmer we talked to says is he's trying to absorb any additional costs so there's no price increases for consumers. But using that extra money means less money and more uncertainty for life on the farm. Take a look. Bob Ralph has a corn farm. And on that corn farm, he has some... My wife wanted a pig, so we uh, went out and bought four pigs. I was obsessed with cows, so many years back I bought a small herd of cows. The aspect here with the feed is basically I consider it free. I'm not having to pay the higher uh, feed costs, so that helps with the inflation. Inflation, next to Mother Nature, is a farmer's nightmare. Nearly every single thing relating to farming went up so very much that there was a huge cash requirement. Seeds, fertilizers, chemicals, Bob says all doubling and tripling in price. Not to mention diesel, the fuel uh, that agriculture runs on has been extremely expensive. Bob's business, Princeton Popcorn, sells direct to consumer. If you show me a kernel, I could show you the field it was grown in. And he's trying his best to absorb price increases, but not having that extra cash on hand for emergencies can be scary. I've also put off some purchases of additional equipment because I had to allocate that money towards my crop. If I don't get a crop planted, I don't have a business. Th those are things that run through my mind. The worst case scenario is you pay these high inflation prices in the spring and then the commodity price drops out in the fall so you work really hard to lose money so in these tough times he's got letting one kernel go to waste it's not good enough for our customers but it sure is good enough for our pigs reporting in princeton kansas caroline hogan kshb 41 news Oh, you gotta love those pigs. But while this guy's popping up, just like some little TV magic here, ooh, look how good that looks. So, like Bob says, he hopes that, you know, if he did have to raise some prices, that consumers would understand. Because, like we've seen with a lot of other things, things just keep going up. Taylor? So, Caroline, has he had issues in other areas when it comes to selling popcorn? Tell us about some of the other, that can't be the only problems he's had. You know, there is. So, especially with the packaging, so like this big bag that you see here in these containers, he's seen some increases in that. He doesn't see that changing anytime soon. And so, and he's he just hoping that, that, that consumers can understand this is kind of the new normal for right now, unfortunately. I'm going to make sure that this guy doesn't burn here. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, Caroline, you're, I think your microphone's popping a little bit. So, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to fix it. Thank you.